In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create wide angle cinemascope style video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of setting up the video editor in Blender. I've included a link to my beginners tutorial for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Before starting you'll need to create a mask like this. Um, I will show you how to create this mask in Blender. Um, you might want to use a different um, image editor. Okay. What I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to just press X on my keyboard then left click on delete to get rid of the cube. Then I'm going to press 7 on my numbers pad to go into top view. I'm going to hit my space bar and type in A L I. And then I'm going to left click, view 3D, align camera to view. I'm going to take the percentage up to 100% in the resolution box here. You can leave it at 50 if you want. Then in the Y axis box where it says 1080, I'm going to left click and type in 817. And I'm going to hit return. Now what I'm going to do now, to the bottom of the screen, look for the white sort of disc, left click on this and left click render. Now all we're going to do now is just go up to the world setting up here and just left click in the horizon box if you want. You don't have to do this really but we'll left click in the horizon box and then drag this slider up here so we end up with a white background. Finally just go up to the camera, the render button, top right of the screen, left click on this and then just left click render and this will happen. Come to the bottom left of the screen and look for the word image, left click on this, left click save as image and then in the box at the top it will be highlighted in sort of a orangey red colour. Left click and just give this a title. Call it Mask. I don't know, Mask 1. And decide where you're going to save it. So I'm going to just save this for convenience on my desktop. So I'll just left click desktop. Top of the screen, top right, left click save as image. Okay. Once you've done that, come back down to the bottom left of the screen left click on UV image editor and then left click 3D view. Come back over to the right of the screen and where you've changed it to 817 left click and type in 10080 and hit return. So I've managed to type in 10 there sorry I'll do that again 1080 and hit return that will bring you back to what you were originally looking at. Change your view to something like a solid view so just press Z and Z again to get yourself into a solid view rather than a rendered view. And then hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh look to see if you've got something called images as planes. If you haven't Come to the top of the screen, left click on file and then left click user preferences. With the add-on box selected just type the word image in the search box. And what you want is import, export, import images as planes. Left click in the box so you've got a tick on in it. Then left click save as user settings then close the box down. Again hold down shift followed by A, next to mesh left click images as planes. Now you should go straight into the desktop folder or wherever, you know, wherever else you saved but go to the folder where you've saved your mask, left click on the mask and then before doing anything else what you want to do is left click on camera 
and then left click fit so you want to make sure that fit is highlighted not fill then just left click top right of the screen import images as planes and this should happen come over to the top right of the screen and left click on the orange disk this is your materials button and then where it says mask 1 left click on the minus to remove the color or the image color now if you press tap on your keyboard then A to delete to um, deselect everything what you're going to do is press B hold down your left mouse button and do a box select over the top edge you're then going to press E followed by Y and drag this so it's larger than the camera view whatever you see you won't, you won't see the top half um, so drag it up and just left click you won't see anything other than this part here press A again and then do B and again hold down your left mouse button and do a box select here and then press E Y and drag this down and left click once it's past the camera view come back down to the bottom of the screen towards the bottom and look for the cube with a highlighted square left click on this and this brings up your face select right click in the middle then press X and this brings up your delete options then left click on faces press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode then come back down to the white disk left click on this and then left click rendered and what this will do is give you an image like this so what we want to do now with the orange disk selected left click on new and in the box underneath diffuse where it says where it's all sort of white left click now you can change your color of your um, edges if you want by moving your middle dot about by holding your left mouse button over it or just take this up to what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally sorry just take this up so it's pure white I'm going to literally just drag this down to black finally what you need to do is look in the shading box left click on shadeless and come up to the camera this is your render button left click on this and then left click next to shading the little arrow next to shading there's a box that says sky left click on this and left click transparent back up to the top left click on render and this will happen lovely jubbly finally save your image come back to the bottom of the screen left click on image left click save as image now we called the first one mask 1 so I'm going to change this to mask 2 again make sure you're saving it in the folder that you can find it in as I said before many a times I'm quite lazy I generally dump on my desktop and then move it afterwards so I'm going to left click at the top might have to do this twice now I should have a mask on my desktop so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the top of the screen and I'm going to left click next to default left hand side there's a sort of a thumbnail box left click on this and left click video editing I'll quickly go through this um, left click in the box that says graph editor sort of middle left and then left click on properties okay 
So I need to import an image and a movie clip. So the first thing I'm going to do is import my movie clip. So easiest way to do this is actually go into a file browser and if I can remember where it's stored somewhere here. La 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 la. Gone too far. There it is. Well done your left mouse button and just drop it straight in. So I'm going to close this down for now. Roll your middle mouse if you want to zoom in. Um, to the right of the screen, other people got different ways of doing this, but there's a length here. This tells me it's 456 long, so I'm just going to come down here in the box that says N250. And a left click and type four, five, six, and hit return. And that means I'll literally edit to the end and not just 250 frames. Okay. Now for the magic. File browser again, and go to my desktop mask to drag it in close this down now we need to make it the same length so we had 456 length box here it'll say 26 probably so I'll type 456 it return and again right hand side edit strip there's a box that says blend and in it it says cross left click this and then left click alpha over and jobs a good one you're good to go now all you need to do is render your video clip like I said I'm not going to go into that um, I've got a video clip um, tutorial on editing in blender it's pretty good blender actually if you take the time and effort to learn it um, it's one of the free ones that actually has what they call proxy editing um, and if you've ever used a video clip you soon end up having this problem it, you can't scan through a video with, with a lot of um, the free videos whereas if I used proxies on this I would be able to um, in fact I'll set it up with proxies and I'll come back to it and show you what it does okay well I've just created some proxies just to show you the difference I can pretty well scan a lot quicker through these video clips and this certainly works well if you've got a lot of video so it pays to learn um, editing with a proxy um, editor so that's all I'm going to do really um, hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.